Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at an interesting equation uh, in logarithms. Uh, so we're given ln xy is equal to ln x times ln y. Is this true? Well, not all the time. So if you want, you can go ahead and pause the video at this point and uh, kind of explore for yourself and then watch the rest of the video. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, we know that this equation is not in general true, but there are some cases uh, where this is true. First of all, let's look at the left-hand side. We can write ln xy as ln x plus ln y, right? Of course, x and y need to be in the domain, so on and so forth. And then we can go ahead and replace ln xy with that on the left hand side of the equation. So we get ln x plus ln y is equal to ln x times ln y. At this point, I'm going to use some substitution here. So uh, let ln x equal a and ln y equal b. And now let's go ahead and substitute those. We get a plus b is equal to a times b. Now, our, our goal is to solve for y here. So we're wondering what y is going to equal in terms of x. So that means we need to solve for b. So let's go ahead and uh, subtract b from both sides to collect all the b terms on the same side. And then we'll use factoring. b times the quantity a minus 1 is equal to a. And then divide both sides by a minus 1 and we get b equals a over a minus 1, okay? Now, we're going to back substitute here because our goal is to solve for y, as you see here, and for that purpose, we need to do the back substitution. Let's go ahead and do that. ln y is equal to b, so I'm going to replace b with ln y and a with ln x, okay? And let's see what we get from here. And of course, there's a way to write ln x minus 1 in terms of a single ln, uh, but we're not just going to do that right now. Okay, so since our goal is to solve for y here, how can I isolate this since ln is base e? So we're going to go ahead and e to the power both sides. So it's going to be e to the power ln y is equal to e to the power ln x over ln x minus 1. And as you know, e to the power ln y is the same as y, right? So I'm going to replace it with y. And uh, I can also take advantage of the fact that e to the power ln x is equal to x, just like the, the left-hand side. Uh, but before that, I, I'm going to go ahead and do this. e to the power ln x to the power 1 over ln x minus 1. And then I'm going to replace e to the power ln x with x. And that's going to give me y in terms of x in the simplest form. And that's going to be our answer. Thank you for watching. Please comment and subscribe. See you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.